Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how you can pass the variables value from the calling feature file to the helper feature file. In our previous video, we did the opposite of that. Now, when we want to pass the variables from the calling feature file to the helper feature file, the syntax for calling the feature file will vary slightly. So in order to pass the variables, we need to specify them in the JSON object. That means in the form of key value pair. So after the read method call, we need to specify the list of variable in the form of JSON object. So where one, its value, where two, and its value. So basically in this manner, you need to specify the variables which you want to pass from the calling feature file to the helper feature file. Now these variables can be accessed inside the helper feature file either directly or in the form of the embedded expression. So let me show you this with an example. First, I'm going to create a duplicate copy of this feature file. And let me call it as create job entry with variables. Now inside this feature file, there are certain values which will be passed from the calling feature file, such as URL, path, and the job ID. So I'm going to replace all those things with the variable name. So these are the three variables whose value will be supplied by the calling feature file. Now, as you can see here, in the request body for the variable that is underscore id i used in the form of the embedded expression whereas in this two statement i have used the variable directly and the reason behind this is the request body is in the form of json so whenever we are dealing with the json we need to use the variable in the form of embedded expression whereas in the case of this two statement there is no json object involved so i can use the variable name directly here So let me go back to my original feature file. I will update the name of the feature file in the read method. And then specify the variable name and its value in the form of JSON object. So the first variable is underscore URL and its value. The second variable is underscore path and its value. And the third variable is underscore ID. So let me remove this two statement from this feature file and add it to our current scenario. And I'm going to pass this variable here. Now again, this is a JSON object. So I cannot use the ID variable directly here. I need to use in the form of embedded expression. So when this scenario get executed, Karate framework will invoke this feature file and pass all these variable to this feature file. And in the feature file, we can use these variables like this. So in this feature file, let me print the value of those variable, which is being passed from the calling feature file. And let me run this runner. Let me run the runner again. Now let us look at the console. So as you can see here, these are the values which are passed from the calling feature to the helper feature file. And now I can add the put request in our current scenario. So this will be replaced with ID as well as this one. And let me run the runner. So 
So in this manner, by passing the JSON object that contains the variable values and their name, you can pass the values from the calling feature file to the helper feature file.